Frontline Updates, where we delve deep into military strategies and updates from conflict zones. Today, we're discussing the progress of the ongoing special military operation as of July 7, 2024. I'm your host, Sharifa Muhammad MGT. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogintoy, an infantry officer. Today's update, continued engagements across regions, the Russian armed forces are persistently conducting operations across multiple fronts north, west, south, center, and Vostok each recording significant tactical engagements and territorial advances. Welcome to the Frontline Updates podcast. Today, we're joined by Colonel A.C. Ogintoy to discuss the latest developments from the ongoing special military operation as of July 7, 2024. Colonel, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It's important to keep the public informed about our operations. Let's dive right in. Colonel, can you start by giving us an overview of the current situation on the ground? Yes. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue to press forward with the special military operation. Our forces across several fronts have been actively engaging and inflicting significant losses on the Ukrainian forces. What can you tell us about the activities in the northern regions? In the north, our troops have been particularly effective. We engaged the 41st Mechanized and several other Ukrainian brigades, resulting in substantial Ukrainian losses, including the destruction of armored vehicles and artillery systems. We also successfully repelled multiple attacks, maintaining our strong defensive lines. How about the progress in the Western fronts? On the Western front, our forces have gained advantageous positions and decisively defeated multiple brigades of the Ukrainian armed forces. This includes the 14th Mechanized and the 4th Tank Brigades. Our operations led to the capture of strategic locations and the destruction of key artillery assets of the enemy. Moving to the southern sector, what developments have occurred there? The southern group of forces has made significant progress, improving our tactical situation and weakening the enemy's defensive capabilities. We have caused considerable personnel losses to the Ukrainian forces and destroyed multiple pieces of military hardware, enhancing our operational advantage in this region. What role has air and artillery support played in recent operations? Air and artillery units have been crucial. We've conducted targeted strikes against enemy positions, destroying vital infrastructure and military equipment, including advanced air defense systems like the Patriot and the Giraffe. This has significantly reduced the enemy's capability to defend against our advances. With such intense ongoing operations, can you speak to the losses incurred by the Ukrainian forces? The Ukrainian forces have indeed suffered significant losses. Just yesterday, they lost hundreds of troops, several key artillery pieces, and important electronic warfare equipment. These losses impact their operational capabilities and morale. Colonel, how do you see the operation evolving in the coming days? We will continue to leverage our tactical and strategic advantages to press our operations. The goal is clear, to secure stability and safety in the region. Our forces are prepared for sustained operations to ensure these objectives are met. What are the strategic objectives moving forward with the operation? Well, generally, strategic objectives in a military context like this might include 1. Territorial control, securing or reclaiming geographic areas of strategic importance to enhance security, influence, or control over resources. And 2. Deterrence, deterring further aggression or resistance by depleting the enemy's military capabilities and showcasing the strength and readiness to engage effectively, thereby potentially discouraging other nations or groups from hostile actions. Colonel Oguntoya, thank you for these detailed insights. Your updates provide a clear picture of the extensive scope of operations and their strategic impacts. It's my duty to keep the public informed. Thank you for giving me this platform. And thank you to our listeners for tuning in. Join us next time as we continue to provide up-to-date coverage on global military affairs. Stay with us for more updates and expert analyses on global defense and security issues. Stay informed, stay secure. Thank you, and the talks on Gaza was a ruse to attack the HQ of the UN Agency for Palestine Refugees.